We've lost medical device tax because people are understood as killing business. We, we pull back other taxes with respect to Obamacare in a bipartisan manner because we realize we're bad. And the millions of people that were supposed to come out of the exchanges, young kids, healthy kids, um, that are supposed to take care of the old farts like me with bad hockey injuries and sports injuries that have higher costs, well, they're not coming on. They're just paying the taxes, and, and they're, they're paying the penalty. So the fundamental underpinning is really hurting. So the concept of keeping insurance, great idea. Concept of making sure everyone has access to insurance, great. Portability of premiums uh, for pre-existing conditions, absolutely. Portability of, uh, I mean, having a up to a 26-year-old, great. So there's a lot of good things about Obamacare. But what we're going to do is a lot of the fees that are involved with Obamacare, you retain, but you turn it back to market-based solution. You have... Uh, you incentivize people to get insurance with tax rebates and tax credits. You also open up competition for insurance companies across state lines. And you have to deal with a regulatory morass to do that, but you got to do that, right? You fund the high-risk pools, which are driving up costs crazy. Like you have one person may have an exponentially high amount of health care coverage. It's killing the coverage for a lot of other people. So you fund high-risk pools as well. So there's some of the things we're talking about. I know what it's like for so many people. Uh, who were struggling, who didn't have health insurance. Now we have 20 million more Americans who have health insurance, who get, who are gonna, who are getting, excuse me, the care that they deserve. Um, so we can't just, you know, throw it out and start new. I mean, John just said, um, making sure that students can or kids can stay on their parents until they're 26, ending the uh, insurance companies from discriminating against people with uh, pre-existing conditions. You know, these are great aspects of the Affordable Care Act. Let's improve it. Let's make it better. Let's not try to repeal it like him and his um, Republican counterparts want to do. I'm not sure I said that. Um, Ms. Deagle, so what would you do? I mean, you've recounted the flaws. We get the flaws. So what would you do? A, well, I do agree that the medical device tax um, was right. um, hard on businesses. I'm right. glad to see that was removed. Right. I think the excise tax, uh, which was designed for, you know, CEOs who made a lot of money, who could afford expensive health care, but um, in reality, uh, the unintended consequences of those who maybe are, are labor um, work laborers who just, you know, chose to have more of expensive of a, a health care and got less salary. We need to get rid of that to make sure that we're not making it unfair for people who want health care. And I you're think you're we need to have... That's an unintended consequence of, of ACA? I, th I think that, yeah, I think that the excise tax was a mistake. I think it was intended for people who, you know, could afford high insurance, but it was not... Um, <laughs> It was not thought through that, you know, people who get paid less salaries would have high quality health insurance and pay a lot for it. So I think we need to uh, remove that. And I do think we need to have a public option. I think we absolutely need to make sure that there is uh, more competition, not less competition, and, um, you know, make that competition hard. Uh, excuse me, make that competition um, a, a, a good competition and strong so that, you know, there are, there are more available and more options for people who want to sign up for health care.